Howdy, Posh and Patty here, and where have all the journals gone? Come on along. <laughs> well, you might remember a few days ago when I made this silly video about the journals are taking over, the journals are taking over. Because that's what Mr. Possum said. Well, he came in the room a few days ago and he said, you need more shelves for those journals. And I'm like, yes, I do. So he was trying to think of different scenarios and how we could like rearrange furniture or something and thinking about what to do. So back in that corner over there, I had a hallway table and mirror. That was from a condo we had, but we don't have any more. And it doesn't hold much. It's very pretty, very decorative. I put my little gnome lights on it and everything. But I could better use that space. So Mr. Possum says, why don't I take the shelf that he has a little room over there with his computer and TV and stuff in it. He says, I'll give you that shelf. And you can put it where that um, hallway table was. And you can put all your journals on it. And you could buy me a new shelf. At first, I'm thinking, okay, wait a minute. That was my shelf. You took that shelf. That was my shelf. You commandeered it, put your stuff on it, and now you want to give it to me, and I have to buy you a new one? And he said, well, that shelf matches the ones you know that, that I have back here. I said, yeah, it does match the ones I have back here. Not that anything in this room needs to match, but... I'm like, okay, okay. So he went on Amazon, he ordered a shelf and it came today. So we spent some time this morning putting it together and he was even filming me as I was possum patty pounding nails, right? So uh, I helped him put it together, we got it up, we moved the other shelf in here and it's over there in the corner, I'll show you in a minute. Meanwhile, I took, I took the, um, the journals off the shelf back there and I have a big mess down on the floor back there and I need to organize that somehow and, and get it up on that shelf. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but let me show you the other shelf. So if you remember from that other video and I will link that below, the journals were right there on those empty shelves and now there's my sewing machine right there. And there's my closet full of goodies. And now they are back here, right there. So this is my old shelf, which is now my new shelf. And I had to go out and buy Mr. Possum a shelf, but that's okay. It does match the other one. And I'll get up close. Look how nice and neat. I love how it looks. Um, the ones at the top up there. Those were uh, some of my first journals right there and that one, Halloween one, but not the owl one. And whoops, it's focusing on my finger. And these are all finished. You remember some of those from last year. And these are journals from this year that I'm working on. And there's some down here that I've just started. And these, oh, there's my Christmas in July that I need to finish up. These haven't been, oh, that one has though. That's a Christmas one. A winter nature one. Those don't have anything in them. And on the bottom shelf, these are some old journals with environmental science journaling and nature journaling and field notes. And this is my art journals and these some watercolor journals, but these are almost all filled up. There might be a few pages in a few of those journals. So let me step back again. You can see my buttons down in the corner over there. Anyway, so there she is, all nice and neat, an entire shelf full of journals. Yay! Okay. And a lot of stuff has been thrown down here on the floor as I was emptying these shelves. Now all this stuff I have to organize somehow, somehow, somehow. That was on the uh, table that was in the corner. It's my Noah's Ark. I probably put it up top the shelf, but. So 
I need to work on all of that, but you know what? I've done enough for today. So let me go back to the other camera. And all that we did this afternoon, this morning we had gone out to get some groceries and I did have my coupon for Bath and Body Works. And they send me a free coupon every month for a free hand cream. Isn't that cute? Look at that, pumpkin cupcakes. Oh, I love it. But the gentleman at the store told me they're not gonna do that anymore. It's gonna be, um, the new system is like all points and you have to earn your points and then they send you a certificate for a free item. Before they were just sending me a coupon every single month for a hand cream or a soap or something. But right next door to the Bath and Body Works is Michael's. Do I need paper? No, I don't need any paper, but they had a clearance. Oh my gosh, 70, no, 80, 80% 80 off on those paper packs that I bought earlier this year that I was so excited to get for $3.99. So they're originally $9.99 and I was paying, was it $3.99? Yeah, $9.99 and they were like 60% off and I was paying $3.99. But now go to your Michaels if you want some of this paper because they are 80% off and I paid $1.99 for each of these packs of paper. I did get one different one though. So I got a couple repeats. The first repeat I got was the, of course, Nature One. Sorry about the glare. Try to get it in there. The Nature One. And you can use this for all seasons. It does have pine trees and wood grain, but you can use that any time of the year. I like that one, so I bought that one over again. And another one that I bought over again is this one. And this is very good for summer journaling. But it has orange and green in there, which you can use in the fall. But I'll probably save some of that for next summer. Although I haven't finished my summer journal, so... Uh, I'll still be using that and this was one of my faves and they only had one of these But this purple and green with the yellow stripes and look at that floral pattern This was one of my faves and they had one left so that is a repeat and there's a really pretty red white and blue with the white sparkle paper and the gold foil on the back and the stripes and the red and the red, white, blue floral, which I thought was so pretty. And it's kind of faded like a denim almost. Really, really pretty. Sorry about the glare there. So there are one, two, three, four repeats there. And I got three ones that I hadn't bought before. But for $1.99, I did. So you know me. This one's got flowers. Look how pretty. But it also has this beautiful, like, I know it's not going to come across because it's so shiny, but it's a really pretty blue. And there's green in there, and I don't know what color that's going to be. I didn't open it up yet, but I'm sure you'll see that in a journal. But I like that one. And then they had this marble. I think I have a whole pack of marble paper that I bought on clearance, too. But this also has gold, you know me, I like my shine shine. And it's got the pink and the gold there and the, some marble. It's got two different marbles, like a pink marble to go with the pink and a gold marble to go with the gold. So that's gonna be pretty and then some gold paper on the back. So very pretty, very pretty, $1.99. This is what they had mostly left. Nobody bought these, okay? I don't know why, but nobody picked these out as their fave and took them home. Well, you know, that's not so bad, that tile pattern and the blue. And this one's hard to see, but they're flowers. I don't know if I can get that in there. It's a, like a tone-on-tone -tone flowers. 
And this color doesn't seem to really go with anything. But it is like a pretty, and it's, it's hard to get the right color here. Kind of like a terracotta almost. And that might be pretty on a fall page. That with the gold and these brown flowers. I, I can make something work. For $1.99, I'll make something work. And they had a stack of these. Nobody was buying these. I said, I'll buy one. All right, so I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. Seven times two is 14. That was $14. And then I went over to the clearance wall that they have, and they had a few packs of paper. And I looked at them, and I'm like, I don't want to buy any packs of paper, but I picked one out to buy. Okay. And this is one that I had been looking at. And I really love this one. Okay, this last pack of paper is a little different. This is the um, 48 sheets. The other ones are the 25 sheets. This is the 48 sheets with 16 designs. This was also uh, $9.99, but these were half price. So this was $5, but it's almost twice as many sheets. And I do love this. Look at that moon, and they've got gold embossing on them. I love this. Look, pink with gold stars. Just kind of like a charcoal gray background to go with this. Look at these pink crystals. Oh, my gosh. Love these butterflies. I hear the whisper of the stars and the call of the pale moon. I love this. I love this. Look at this. The sun and the moon. These are, these are just gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Pretty pink to go with that. Look at this. The butterflies and the big flowers. And it's got moons in the background. And look at the edge on that. Look at the moon. And, oops, there we go. Flip it this way. The moon and the butterfly. Nice pale gold. Some cut aparts. There are stars in her eyes and flowers in her hair. I love that. I love that. I love that. And look at the crystals. Nice pretty green to go, this color green to go with this paper. A light, lighter gray. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Look at the crystals and the butterflies and the moons. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. Pink butterflies. They look like monarchs, but, but they're pink instead of orange. And sort of like a peachy color to go with those flat. And look at this. It's just got like all little gold embossing on it. So this was half price. They had some other ones half price, but, you know, I figured that was enough. Five dollars I bought this because I love it. And I was always thinking about getting this one, Magical Thinking, it's called $5. So I went very quickly and looked at, I tried to walk by kind of quickly, um, some of the new fall paper packs that are out for $9.99, and they did have some really nice um, fall designs and harvest designs and things. But I did not have a 40% off coupon, so I did not hang around too long and look at those because I'm not buying any paper packs unless I get it for 40 or 60 or 80% off. That is my thinking on paper. So this one was half price, so this one was 50% off. And that's okay. 40, 50, 60, 80, I'll buy paper. And... I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I need to organize everything. Okay, so it was a really busy day. I haven't finished organizing things, but maybe I'll get a page in one of my journals done. Let's start with, I must be nuts. I made another journal journal with my planter's honey roasted peanuts. And this is a trashy journal. But my other two trashy journals right now are like art journals. I don't put any photos or mementos or anything in them. This one, I'm actually going to put pictures and mementos and silly things that I find. Pictures of 
my favorite nuts in the family and my favorite nutty friends. So I know you're all waiting with bated breath to find out who the first nutty friend is going to be that's going into the I Must Be Nuts journal. Now this is quite an honor. Quite an honor, I say. And drum roll, please. The first thing I thought of when I made this journal was my good crafty friend, Dolores J. Rush. Now I'm going to link her channel below. She makes these awesome art dolls with nutty faces of herself. And this is where I learned to do it. I learned it from her. And she sent me this photo the other day. She made an, um, an art doll magnet for her refrigerator. And you can see all the other little magnets on her refrigerator. But this is her art doll. That is a, you know, funny photo booth picture of her. It kind of distorts her glasses and stuff. Uh, this has a crown on it, and her body is royal jello, looks like. She adds legs and arms she cuts out from a magazine. She makes a saying. I love the way she did the background on this. She used a stencil, but then she took a black pen and outlined all the shapes. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Make everyone very happy. So I printed this out, and this is just on some speckled cardstock and I'm going to put it on here but I thought maybe it could use a background so I'm thinking maybe some pink and blue ring ding might fit nicely yes with that it goes very very well Dolores you're going to get some ring ding all right so I'm going to cut this to size and put that on there but to add a little interest and I've done this before I used my little printer to print out just the magnet part. And I'm going to put that on there so it kind of stands out from the refrigerator background. So this is kind of like a matte finish and this is a, a glossy finish. Okay. And if you notice, I've sort of cut off her crown a little bit, but that's okay. I want to put a three-dimensional crown there and I'll probably get some jewels out and put some jewels on that too. So that is my plan for today. What a busy day, I'm telling you, my goodness. Shopping, clearance sales, moving, constructing furniture. It's always good to get a page done in the journal. I need to trim this or this is just about the right size, I think. We got a little tiny drop in the bucket of rain and I wish it would rain more because it's so much work watering all the flowers and the pumpkins. We had a heat wave for two weeks and it broke for a couple of days and it was gorgeous and I went outside, did my outside projects. Well, I did projects outside on the picnic table, I should say, right? My pinky papers. And do I have to trim that more? Let's see. That should be just about right. Bought some more glue stick at Walmart. Price of the glue sticks has gone up, 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 up. Mr. Possum said, didn't you just buy glue sticks? I said, yeah, I bought three. <laughs> I used up two of them already. So, where are the glue sticks? All right, now there's the open one. But I did use a lot of glue making a couple of journals. And I used a lot of glue stick putting fabric in that journal. 
I did the other day. I said I'm doing a lot of journaling. I need a lot of glue stick. Oh, yesterday, Mama Mia, everything I glued down popped up. And I was using a tacky glue, too. The real stuff. I was using the real stuff. And stuff was just not staying down. I don't know why. So now we're going back into warmer weather already. And it was funny because the um, they were just talking about on the news about their signs of an early fall. But mostly that's because it's been so dry. Leaves are turning yellow. And... Things are a little bit stressed, a little bit dry, a little bit stressed. And now, it's going to get hot. And tomorrow is going to be 90 degrees. Supposed to be warm over the weekend too, but 90 degrees. So guess where we're headed? You got it. The beach. And I haven't done work in my beach journal. And I need to do that. I just feel so blessed to always be busy and always have something to do. And things I can use my creativity on. Look at that. That's like perfect for that. Using my creativity. Keeping busy. Yeah, so I wanted to get a page done because tomorrow we're going to go sit on the beach. And, and there's big waves at the beach today because it was breezy, but I don't know about tomorrow. But I'm going to bring my boogie board. It's been cool at night. Yeah, when it goes down to 57 at night, you get up and you open the windows. My favorite time of year is open window. No heat, no air conditioner, just open windows. That is my fave. Not too hot, not too cold. All those packs of paper, I'm going to have a lot more of these things. <laughs> Make another journal. Oh, no. No, no, no. Not another journal. I'll use them for something. I'll use them for something. I'm glad I didn't cut them up, though. Because... If I had cut them down into, like, ATC sizes, then... I wouldn't have been able to use them to make pages in this journal. So these photos have sticky back. Okay, put that right there. And Dollar Tree stickers. I think somebody gave me these. I think somebody gave me these. I think these were a gift. If it was you, just comment below. Give her a nice three-dimensional purple crown. Oh, is this the crown... 
You know what? Oh my gosh. This is the crown. <laughs> Sorry, everything falling on the floor. This is the actual crown that she's wearing in the art doll magnet. She used this sticker to make a crown. I just realized that. Sorry, Dolores. I'm a little slow because you know the brain she's a broke. Oh my gosh, look at that. I love it. You know, I don't know if I need to put extra glue on that or not. Maybe. All right, I'm going to go find my jewels. Okay, I think I'm going to put these half rounds, two pink pearls and one blue one, just like what's on the crown. And I'll try not to glob blue. I just glob the glue. Make it a big mess here. All right, we'll get to that in a second. All right, so I need two pink ones. And a blue one. Now, she didn't send me the magnet. She's got that on her fridge. She just sent me this picture. But I had to print it out. Okay, stay there, stay there, stay there. I don't know if I can wipe that other glue bit off. Do I have tiny yellow sparkly things for the stars? I don't know. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I took one of the... Um, Blue ribbons, I guess they are. Like you would win a prize or a crown. I put her name there in today's date. And I'm going to put that on there. That's going to be my journaling. Oh, I've got glue all over the picture. Not good, not good. some of this glue. I don't want to use this glue. This glue is messy. I'm going to get the tacky glue. And sometimes I like that beacon glue and sometimes I don't. Just don't like it. Oops. Keep calm and get my crown. All right. I put this down there, you can still read that. Little three, to, oh, I love it. How cute for the first page. Too bad I smeared glue all over the top, but that's okay. That's okay, I'm gonna let that dry very wet, very wet. And here is my Dolores art doll on her refrigerator with a very large crown with pink and blue pearls. And I gave her the ribbon for being the very first nut in my I Must Be Nuts journal. Wow, that was fun. That was definitely fun. Messy but fun. Messy but fun. All right. So thanks for coming along today and checking out my new shelf for my journals. I still have that whole other pile over there. Ugh. i got to organize I gotta organize, I gotta organize, I gotta organize. So I just wanna wish everybody happy junk journaling. Bye bye.